What's going on guys? So today's video I got, I can't call this guy the bearded bastard anymore because he's clean shaven. So we're gonna say we got Ravishing Reminder who you haven't seen in over a year and we're gonna talk about Boss Bottled Journeyman. Stay tuned and watch. We haven't seen Reminder in over a year. I think the last one that we saw you in was the uh, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue True. Sun last year. Sun so last year, yeah. where we filmed at Reminder's place, and, and right now we're actually at uh, where, where are we at? We're at uh, Meadowville Conservation Area here in, in Mississauga. Mississauga. All right, so we're trying to promote a little bit of social distancing because <laughs> our better halves <laughs> said you have to have a little bit of space between you. So here's the proof, okay, ladies? No. All right, so Hugo Boss Journeyman was actually launched in 2018. The notes, according to Fragrance, got the top notes are floral notes and green accord with the midbean, black tea, and the base is guyac wood and sandalwood. I ended up getting this decant from myperfumesamples.com or something like that, and I went through half of it. Reminder went through the other half almost. What notes did you get out of this one, Reminder? Well, Chad, first of all, Thank you for having having me. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> After a year, and uh, well, I tried it. Uh, first thing I got out of it was this very woody musk, and uh, it's not for me. It's not for summer. Really? It could okay. be for some. All right. Uh, I'm just saying. All right. Not, but it, it was average lasting. I didn't last but uh, six hours max. That was it, it was gone. Okay. I tried it on my morning shift and by the end of the shift it was gone. Yeah, so, so this guy starts at 4.30 in the morning and I start at 12.30 in the afternoon, give or take. So, so we actually... Uh, it was gone within about seven hours. Okay. So well, not, you... not very long lasting. I kind of like a cologne that goes out all my shift. So. Yeah, no, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. So you didn't get the floral notes, the green notes, you just got pretty much woods. Yeah, it was... I would say it's like it's very musky for me. Okay. Like dinner time kind of cologne. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, for me, this opens up with a, a lot of florals, a nice florals along with green accords. And then there is a little bit of black tea and it's got to be my skin because I don't get any woods. Wow. So there, are, there is sandalwood and there is guyac wood according to the note breakdown, but I don't get any notes. I just get florals, green tea, and uh, some green accords. So it's definitely uh, different on your skin where you get musk. Musk is not an official note, but there yeah. might be and you definitely get a lot of woods. You said that you get no more than six hours, right? No, I didn't get it. I get four hours max. So your skin is uh, a little bit better. Yeah. And projection for me was more so on the milder side. A lot of people on Fragrantica were complaining about this one that there was performance uh, issues with this one here. Seasons, you said that you wouldn't see yourself in the summertime. So when would you see this one? I would, this is probably my fall kind of uh, perfume. Okay. Yeah, fall, nighttime. That's what I would prefer. Okay. But for me to wear this clone early morning on a, like a 30, 30 degrees, uh, no. Okay, well no. for me, this is more of a warmer month, so spring and I would say definitely summertime. We definitely have contra contrasting opinions because our skin chemistries are totally po uh, opposite for this one. Occasions, I would say this is more on the casual end and work, you said what? I would wear it to Ah, uh, casual evening out in like say 16, 17 degrees kind of uh, fall fall day. Okay. Yeah, that kind of. Day. Prices for these, these go for anywhere from 45 to $50 USD. It's only on Fragrance, uh, sorry, it's only on Fragrance Net, uh, Fragrance Buy and Fragrance X doesn't sell it. So when you convert 45 to $50 USD, that would be 60 to $70 Canadian, which I find is a little too pricey. Wife's thoughts this one. Wife does like it. She gets florals and green. Did you did you ask your wife? Uh, my wife didn't like it. She was ah. Uh, like, no. Okay. You know, one of those things. Okay, no worries. Uh, so uh, clearly, this one didn't work for you. No. Okay. I, I'm a big fan of the original Hugo Boss. The original, original from like uh, 80s. So definitely not for you. No, it's no. I wouldn't. No. Okay. So, uh, me, I do like it. I, I like the florals and the tea co component. I think it's a, it's a unique blend, and Hugo Boss is very mass appealing. There's nothing unique, but with the floral component and the tea note, it's slightly unique and slightly different, but at the same time, it's still very mass appealing. Uh, it does have that slight gentlemanly vibe on my skin. His skin is definitely more masculine with the woods. Mine's a little bit. 
feminine, if you will. <laughs> but um, I, I do like it. I think that the, the, what could be worked on is the longevity. So uh, just like my skin and a lot of the other people on Fragrantica, there is uh, performance issues. You said you get five to six hours. Yeah around there somewhere. If this could push to no more than six hours, I would truly get a bottle of this one here, but my rating out of five is gonna be a three and a half. What would your rating be? I'll, I'll give it about three. That's, okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair. So guys, that is our take of Hugo Boss, Hugo Journeyman. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. We thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you.